Another day in the West Ham life and we are hearing stories left, right and centre. Rumours of players leaving, rumours of discontent within the West Ham changing room. You know, whether or not Moyes will be the long-term solution for West Ham, whether or not we'll get a new manager in. How many games does David Moyes have in a West Ham coaching capacity? But at the end of the day, we'll never know. And there is another story coming out today from Clarence Hugh who are suggesting that Mubama could be off and could be leaving West Ham in the potential January transfer window. Now, we're not so sure from what we're reading and looking into whether it would be a permanent deal or a loan deal. Now, this is what has been reported. Derby County are in the market for a striker and they've taken a keen interest, apparently according to sources, on Divine Mubama. And because Mubama hasn't signed a contract extension with West Ham, that will put other clubs on alert to the situation that is that he potentially is available. So going down that pathway of other previous young players that are leaving the club due to them not signing a long-term contract. Now, what we are also led to believe is that West Ham are still in negotiations with Devine about keeping him at the club. Now, it looks like a mixture of David Sullivan is taking charge of the conversation alongside potentially Tim Steigen to try and convince Mubama that staying with West Ham is the right option. But at the end of the day, if there's going to be no pathway to that first team, nobody can blame Mubama for potentially looking at other options out with the club. The guy, the geezer, does look like he's the real business. He's an exciting prospect for the future at West Ham. And, and and really wherever he does end up, I don't think this does go down the pathway of Odebeke. I don't think this does go down the pathway of Sonny Perkins. And I suppose this weekend's game against Burnley will be quite telling considering that West Ham could be without Bowen and of course Antonio for the game. That leaves Danny Ings and Mubama as our two only fit centre forwards. And what option will David Moyes go with? Now we're led to believe that from and, and, and also history suggests that David Moyes will go with Danny Ings. Um, but in recent weeks, we have seen the odd change, the odd transition from players coming in and out of the team. And it would be really nice to see a bit of Mubama come into the first team. But what we have to do is believe that West Ham are working behind the scenes to convince him, to show him that there is going to be a pathway to this first team, that he is going to get more minutes under his belt. Now, what we don't want to happen is... Mubama leaves the club on a permanent deal. Now, if it is mentioned that he does go away on loan, I will be disappointed, but I'll accept a loan over a full-time um, departure from the club. A loan is the minimum I would accept. That's nothing else. I do not, not want a permanent departure for Mubama. Then, if he's not going to get game time at West Ham, there's no point of him sitting on the bench. There's no point of him getting five, ten minutes here, there and everywhere. He'd be as well going and plying his trade out in the market and show what he is capable of doing. And should the change and transition happen in the summer that we're expecting to happen, with potentially Moyes leaving the club and a new manager coming in, then Mubama has given himself the right stepping stone to produce the needs and the goods at a Premier League club with West Ham. Now, I think it would be nice to keep him in the mix up now and really start to bring him in through the setup. Here's the opportunity that presents itself. The history has could repeat itself. You know, when we were struggling with centre-backs, we had the opportunity to bring Alessi through the ranks and that didn't happen and we stuck with some of the old guards. But right now, if we're going to transition and move forward, we need to see that um, youth start to make that step up. Now, people will turn around and go, some people may turn around and go, well, how do we know it's going to work if you don't try him? And how do we know it's going to work? And will it be another Sonny Perkins? Will it be, look what happens when these players go away? I feel like when it comes to Divine Mubama, with the records that he is breaking, with the goals that he is scoring, with the type of play that he's playing, with the ability that he's shown when he has featured in the first team, that he's got the capabilities to do it. And to be honest with you, if you look at what Danny Yings has brought to the team in comparison to what Mubama has got to the team, I absolutely would rather choose the youth over the experience for this particular game. I think right now, unless we're not planning on getting rid of Danny Ings, he should play a bit part role at West Ham, coming off the bench, showing us what he's capable of, being an impact striker if he needs to be. But right now, I think the focus needs to be around Divine Mabama, keeping him at the club, hoping that we can chase away Derby and all the other clubs that are going to come in and offer him. And that's the thing, at the end of the day, money does talk. It does talk. They're going to come in and offer him a contract that he may be too good to knock back. And at the end of the day, if clubs are going to come in 
and wipe away West Ham's contract offer, then what are you going to do? Sometimes it's not just about to the game, down to the game time. It's also going to be a mix of contracts that get your career started and you can go and make a career for yourself. Let's rewind ourselves back, back to the early days when we had Lee Hodges. He had the biggest prospect in youth football, but he was never getting a chance. Why? Because we gave Frank Lampard the chance. What happened with Lee Hodges? He went away and made a career of himself in the lower leagues and had a full-blown career. And when we had him on the channel, he stated that he wanted to look back at his career with no regrets and look back at the fact that he actually solidified his position as a football player for a team and had over 100 appearances for a club and that's what he went and did and that's the challenge we face when it comes to youth coming through to West Ham. Leave your comments in, let me know your thoughts on what I've said but Mabama, will it be off to Derby? I hope not but put your comments in, let me know. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button and of course come on you irons.